welcome back or welcome if you're new if you are the subscribe button is right down below please do give it a click uh, I was watching Lucy's video yesterday she is my best friend in the world and if you've not seen her videos please do she's so funny and so talented I will pop a link below in the description to her channel so you have no excuse not to follow follow subscribe 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 on YouTube follow on Instagram anyway the point I was making uh, I was watching her make of a video. It just inspired me to get up, give myself a pamper, did my tan, curled my hair for the first time in god knows how long, did my nails. I dermaplaned yesterday so my face is nice and fresh and ready to go and I feel good. I think it's important to remember that when you're getting all dolled up and glam it's something to do for you not strangers in a bar or a restaurant or Tesco or wherever you're going. So I thought you know what who cares my biggest venture today is the sofa. I'm gonna get all glammed up and I'm gonna do it for me. Anyway, now that I've preached a bit of self-love, let's get into the actual video. I noticed last week when I was scrolling, that's all anyone does these days, right? We've got nothing else to do. I was scrolling through and a little advert popped up with a deal which was six mini lipsticks for £24, I think it was. And then once I clicked on that, because I'm a sucker for a good deal, I noticed that there was also 30% off on top of that, which I think in the end brought them to like 16 16 50 which instantly I was like, yes, like I'm there. The delivery was quite pricey for how small of a package it was, but in the end it brought it to about £22, which still all in six lipsticks I think is great. So I've got them here. This is what the packaging looks like. So I just thought I'd give them a try and show you what they all look like on. I have to say, Anastasia Beverly Hills, I don't think have ever let me down. Anything I've ordered from them has always been incredible. That being said, I've never used any of their lipsticks or lip products, so I'm really excited to give these a go and do a quick review in the process. Okay, so I'm going to start with the shade Brandy. It's this, oh, that's really pretty. It's this really nice kind of dark red colour, which is definitely already a contender to be my favourite. I'm getting good at this. So I'm not going to use any liner just to get an idea for the true colour payoff. I have however used a bit of lip balm just as a nice base, it's just something I always do because I find it just makes all lipsticks go on a bit easier. So let's try it. Oh she's dark. I don't know who I am thinking that I can get away with this without liner. <laughs> oh my god. However, payoff wise, though, there's a lot. She's dark. Also, very aware that I have the driest lips in the world, but it's because I chew them incessantly. I know I shouldn't. It's not good. I don't know. It's not a nerves thing because I don't have anything to be nervous about, but just. I think it's boredom, to be honest. Okay, this I really like. Definitely something I would be drawn to if I was just buying an individual lipstick anyway, so I'm glad that this is included. However, I definitely need a liner. That's my own fault, I should have known. It's a very dark colour. Especially because I do have quite a pouty bottom lip, which does mean I struggle with dark colours. The formula does feel really nice, actually. It feels, it's comfortable, it doesn't feel too heavy. I think these are meant to be matte. Yeah, these are meant to be matte, but obviously I have applied it over a balm, which I always do just because I don't like anything too matte. It dries out my lips and that just makes me chew them more. But yeah, so far I'm impressed. I shall wipe this off and I will come back and try the next one. Okay, so I've rubbed that off and popped a bit more of my lip balm on. Next up we have Peachy, which is this colour right here, which is, as it says, Peachy. This is gonna be a very good nude, I think, but I generally have always gone for purpley, reddy, browny, dark shades when I've always gone for nudes. So this is definitely something a bit new for me, which is what I wanted when I ordered these, because I do think I need to branch out a bit more when it comes to lipsticks, so that was my intention. Wow, okay, I really like this a lot. I really like this. Um, it looks like someone's coming over to the peachy nude side. Hmm. Ten out of ten would recommend. I look good and peachy nude. Anyway, I'm gonna go and take this off and we'll 
try the next one. Also, I'm using a flannel for this because we do not use face wipes in this house. Next up for judgment is latte. So this, I think, <laughs> please excuse my nails. This, I think, is probably a good middle ground between the first two I tried, actually. It's, it's a little bit lighter than brandy, but it's more brown toned than peach. So I think this is probably gonna be like my perfect nude. Shh. How about you shut your goddamn mouth? Okay, this for me, I would say is like the perfect nude. This has probably been my safe color for my entire adult life. I do really like it and it's really pretty. It's a good colour that I think will just go with everything, to be honest. I think, yeah, it's definitely the perfect kind of everyday nude. I agree. Okay, our next contestant is Ruby. Now, this, I'm absolutely not going to attempt this without a liner. Red lipstick is an awkward one at the best of times, and I am not <laughs> risking it without a liner. So, I'm going to take this very old, very bad liner from... Barry M. It is called... Okay, it didn't have a name. <laughs> Just a nice red liner, which I think is probably a good match, to be fair, to the... Yeah, it's pretty much the exact same colour as the lipstick looks. Let's give it a go. More like a true red, whereas... The line is a bit pinky, but the others have been fairly pigmented, so I think we should be fine. Let's give it a go. Oh, okay. I really like this. It's a really... I think this might be my perfect red. Yeah, I think that's like the perfect red. Um, I really feel like this collection is like a staple collection. It's all like the kind of colours that people want as basic in their collection. I'm impressed. Feeling like Apache head Marilyn. Okay, next contestant is Dusty Mauve. Dusty Mauve. So here we go, this is Dusty Mauve. It's a really pretty purple colour. Oh, the thumbnail. To be honest, I think it looks a bit more lilac-y on camera. However, it's kind of, it's a bit dark in real life. These shades are definitely true to their names. Um, I can't think of any better way to describe Dusty Mauve than it's a Dusty Mauve. When I was younger, I used to love purple lipstick and I spent a good few years trying to find the perfect purple lipstick because I had one when I was like 16. I think it was a really cheap lip gloss but it was just a really pretty colour and then ever since I spent years trying to find the perfect purple lip colour and just never found one. Because my bottom lip is so pouty like I said I can't really like pigment just doesn't stick to the inside so I end up with this weird kind of like a fleshy patch. <laughs> oh that's a gross sentence. Um, but yeah, I kind of just end up with like a ring of lipstick around my mouth. Um, and purple just doesn't seem to stick, so this could be life changing. We'll find out. Oh my god, my nails. Okay, so I did my nails, like I said. I do not have the same patience with my nails as I do with my eyeshadow or the rest of my makeup. Like, I just throw it on and then let all the excess stick to my fingers and just sort of flake off over the next day. Please stop talking. Anyway, let's give this a go. I think I think this is it. I think this is what I've been wanting. This is what I spent years looking for. This is this is the exact shade that I had as a kid. Oh my god. Ah yes. I'm not even joking. I don't see any reason to carry on. Like that's it. I found I found it. I've done it. This is what I wanted. It was so pretty. I will 100% be buying a full size of this. Yes. I never want to take this off. Ever. Ever. 
although I do have a video to finish, so moving on. I don't even have no lips left by the end of this. Okay, so far so good, but I have definitely left the briskiest to last. A final contender is plum plumeria plumeria plumeria. It says here they're only available in South America. <laughs> South America! It's this colour, okay? It's, again, a little bit more purpley in real life than it is on camera, but it's kind of like a really vibrant fuchsia. I think it actually will go really nicely with my eye makeup, but I've never tried a colour like this. Definitely don't have a liner that matches it, so definitely should have been more prepared. But hey, let's give it a go. That's all right. Bless you. Nice, Ryan. I sneezed. Oh, I'm not allowed to sneeze. And that is the most you'll ever see or hear of him because he will not do my makeup for a YouTube video. Selfish. You know what? I like that. That works. I really did not see this working on me at all, but yes. I really like that. Okay, if we've learned anything today, it's that I suit everything. <laughs> you know what, who said vanity is a bad thing? I uh, love myself. Yes. I'm genuinely so glad I bought these. There isn't a single one that I wouldn't wear again. So with that, uh, I suppose I will come to the conclusion of this video. Yeah, so overall, I am so glad I bought this. Like I said, I kind of want to branch out a bit more. I do generally just stick to like dark reds and kind of brownish nudes, I guess. If you do feel like you need to up your lipstick game a little bit, this is a great staple pack, I guess. It's got a few great nudes, it's got the perfect red, it's got purple, the perfect purple, my purple, it's got it. I'm so excited. I was going to do a roundup of my favourites, but if you couldn't tell, it was definitely this baby. I really love this pink as well, you know. You know what? I don't even know if I can have favourites. I'm really so impressed. Obviously, I don't know the staying power of them. I don't know how long they're going to last. What I will do is I'll leave one on for the rest of the night, see how long I can get out of it and maybe slip in a little clip of how they last. To be honest, they're so pigmented, I really don't see this coming off anytime soon. I think it's a really nice formula. And to be honest, aside from the first one, you don't even really need a liner. I definitely could have done with one for the first one. What's that? Brandy. Yeah, I definitely could have done with a liner for that, but that's a given. It's a really dark colour. I forgot to do a wear test the other night after I finished filming, but I was filming a video this afternoon, which was, I think, around half three. So I've had this on. I thought I'd give the brandy shade a go with a liner. I've probably had this on at least three to four hours, I'd say, and it's still holding up fairly well. I definitely would need to give this bit here a top up, but there is not a lipstick in the world that, that I don't need to top up after a good few hours around there. But for how dark it is, it's held up really well. Yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say about these. I think they're great. The value is amazing. I guess the only downside is I'm probably going to end up buying full sizes of them all, which I can't afford. 10 out of 10, would recommend. I'll leave a link to these in the description below if you want to give them a go. As of the time of filming, the offer is still there. They are still £24 something with the 30% off on top. And there's a bunch of other offers on there as well. I think there's an offer for a free brush or free cream of some sort i'm not sure they've got plenty of offers but yeah that concludes today's video thank you so much for watching if you made it this far in fact if you did make it this far leave an emoji below that you think best suits your favorite color of the collection that's what we'll do and of course if you haven't already please do subscribe give this video a like i'd really appreciate it as i am still starting out and yeah i'll see you on the next one bye